Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how to create this wonderful painting. First of all, you need to create a canvas. 3,200 pixels by 2,578 pixels. I have pre-sketched the subjects for my painting and I would have outlined all the colors. This image would be available on my Pinterest and I would leave the link below. I have created a new layer below my sketch layer. I am using the hard airbrush. I am now using the color drop tool to select the color that I would like. And I am now adding in using the hard airbrush this color on the finger with the butterfly so what I'm basically doing is just to fill the color up I would make sure that this area of the finger has all of the color While I was filling in the area on the finger, um, some of the color went outside, so I'm going to use the eraser tool to simply erase the excess color that is outside of the finger. Now I am adding more color. I'm going to add a slightly darker color in which would represent the shadow area of the finger. And I'm using the color drop tool to um, place on this color to get the exact color that I want. I'm using a light color now that is representing the lighter parts of the finger. This would be the area where the light is hitting directly on the finger. And when you're doing this, add in light colors, a middle color, and a, and a dark color. This is going to give you dimensions to your drawing. I'm now using what is called a smudge pen. The flow of the smudge pen is 4% because it's very strong. And what I'm doing is to just simply blend these colors together. Now I am using the hard airbrush again to add more colors. I am doing the same thing that I would have done before. The light colors in the light, that is going to represent the light area, the dark colors in the shadow area of the finger and so on. The more color you add to your finger, the more color you add to that layer the more realistic your painting is going to be. Now after adding all of these colors, I am now using the smudge pen to blend these colors together. Make sure your flow is about 4-5% to 5 because this smudge pen is really strong. If it's like higher than that, then it's just going to mess up your painting. Now I'm using the hard airbrush again to add another layer. 
same colors that I would have used before. Then I would use the smudge pen to blend all of these colors. Use the hard airbrush, select a darker color, and you're going to set your opacity to about 50%. Then make sure your layer is locked, and you're going to apply that shadow color in the shadow area of the finger. After applying the color, go to the smudge pen and make sure your flow is about 4% and you're going to blend that color into the other colors. Select the hard airbrush and use a color drop tool to select a darker color. Make sure your brush is at a small size and make sure the opacity of the color is up to 100%. Your brush size can be around like 6 to 11 and you're going to add in these small details onto the finger. Use the smudge tool, make sure your flow of the smudge tool is about 4 to 5 percent and we are going to simply blend the dark color onto the other colors. If there are any excess color outside, you can use the eraser to clean up those areas on the outside. Use the hard airbrush to add more layers to your finger. Make sure you add the dark colors in the darker area, the lighter colors into the lighter area. Then, as you know, when all the colors are on, you simply use your smudge tool Make sure your flow is about 4 to 5% and you blend all the colors together.
This is the final layer for this finger. Add more colors in the same way as before. The darker color in the area of the shadow. The lighter colors where the light is hitting on the finger. Then you'd use your smudge tool to blend all of the colors together. Make sure that your flow for the smudge tool is about 4 to 5 percent. Then we are going to tackle the three other fingers. The same thing that you would have done for the first finger, it is done for the other three fingers. The next step is the butterfly. Select a color using a color drop tool from the colors that I would have provided. We're going to use the felt pen. Felt pen size should be about 9.1. Then we are going to select the predictive sketch tool to make sure that our lines are nice and straight and steady. Make sure you close your shape then use your fill tool to fill this shape with the color. Using the hard airbrush, lock, make sure your layer where the first wing is located it is locked. We're going to select various colors and we're going to apply those colors using the hard airbrush tool. Make sure your brush opacity for the color is up to 5%. Select a darker color using a color drop tool and use the hard airbrush to apply this dark brown onto this area of the wing. 
After applying this dark brown color, we're going to use the darker brown to apply to parts of the wing. Go to your color selection tool and select black and we're going to add this black to various parts of the wing. Use the smudge pen to blend all these colors together on the wing. Make sure your smudge pen is about 4 to 5 percent. That's the flow it should have. That is going to give you a really nice blend. Select the dark brown using a color drop tool. Use the hard airbrush to apply this color. Your brush size should be about 6.2 so that you're able to add in the, the lines onto the butterfly's wing. Use your hard airbrush tool to apply a different brown at various parts of the wing to get the exact color brown that I'm using. You can use your color drop tool to help with that. So what I am doing is adding some details over right now. Make sure your hard airbrush tool is very small so that you're able to add in those lines i'm just reapplying some of the colors that i would have actually added before and so on When you're finished with the first wing, make a new layer. Open that layer where your first wing is on, copy, and then you're going to paste onto the other layer, which is your blank layer, a copy of this wing, and we are going to reposition it onto the other side of the butterfly to create the other wing. I am finishing up this wing by adding some details onto it. I would now 
copy and paste this wing onto the other side. Now the wings at the bottom, I am using the same steps as I would have mentioned that was done for the first wing. When you finish with this wing below, then you can copy and paste it onto the other side and reposition it into the position that you feel comfortable on a new layer. Make a new layer and add the butterfly's body. We're going to use the same concept using the hard airbrush to apply the colors and then we would use the smudge tool to blend out those colors. Using your hard airbrush, apply these colors that I would have provided randomly in the background. Make sure that these colors that you're applying, it's on a new layer. Then you would use your smudge tool with a flow of about 4% to blend the areas where these colors meet. And voila, we are finished. The link to the colors and the digital traceable is available in the link below. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.